This is the richest man on earth. No bodyguards that we can see, no large entourage either. Even the prime minister was stumped by his down-to-earth approach. I read that you don't have your own jet and so on, like the big shots. I've got a Lexus, I, I have uh, <laughs> So, buddy, no, it's because I read what that. What a jet we made. Uh, yes, <laughs> we'll sell you a Canadair. Yeah. Uh, Canadair or not, we should mention that Bill Gates is building a home in Washington state. A little something that's rumored to cost about $35 million. He won't talk about that, won't talk about his new wife either. It's been fine being a bachelor, and I, I'm sure uh, it'll be fine, fine being married. In fact, Bill Gates won't talk about anything personal. We were told all of that was off limits. I know that you have a, an interest in reading biographies because you're fascinated by how people develop, and yet you guard your own privacy. Now, why is that? I think it's a natural thing. Privacy is a, a valuable thing. So who is this man, and what makes him tick? Well, I'm somebody who devoted my life to uh, creating a software company and uh, working on how, how can software empower people. Yes, but who is he really? There have been countless articles written about him, even a book that chronicles his life. The precocious kid born to a prominent Seattle family, the scholastic underachiever who loved to read, the Harvard dropout who co-founded a software company with a boyhood friend when he was only 19 years old, a company that grew from fewer than a dozen employees in 1978 to 16,000 by 1995. Do you understand the fascination that everybody has with you and, and your company and everything that you've done? I understand people who like our products, but some of the rest of it I'm, I don't consider myself an expert on. So if Gates won't talk about himself, what will he talk about? We thought we'd uh, just take a few minutes and show you an example of how these interactive systems create new opportunities. How does it compare with Windows 3.1? Ridiculous to the sublime. Huh. Bill Gates wants to shape the information highway and wants his new Windows 95 and his Microsoft network to be at the center of all future transactions. Give him a platform and he'll talk about that for hours. What do you say to your competitors who believe that you're trying to take over more and more of the market? It's competition uh, and it looks like the only sure winner is going to be the customer. It's an attitude that's earned him a reputation. Some say he has a predatory streak that strikes fear in his competitors. To that, he says... I'm not sure fear is a worthwhile emotion in business. Uh, we, Microsoft has a uh, pretty good track record of doing great products. And so people are probably trying not to underestimate us. And if that causes fear, uh, then, then maybe it's appropriate. And if the thunder is symbolic of Bill Gates' approach to business, so be it. After all, the world's richest man says he's just doing his job. And how might history remember Bill Gates? Perhaps people remember the role that Microsoft had in creating this very competitive and fast-moving framework. Like him or not, Bill Gates has unleashed a technological revolution that has changed our lives.